I stole this from Jason Afton at Mays. I went there and I had a very, uh, his dish was much more delicate. This is my domestic version. And, um... A carpaccio kitchen. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm going to grab another fork here. Okay. And the goat's cheese is literally just softened with the back of the fork in the bowl, along with some chives. So that's all you do is literally soften all of that together. Yeah. But I've actually cheated and got one I did earlier Marvelous. and put in the pipe like bag. Uh, are those beetroots fully cooked? They are, yes. Look beautiful and firm. Oops. A bit slidey. <laughs> there we go. It really looks like a lady's lunch, you know? It that does, doesn't really, it? Really, yeah. You lovely. see, but typical me, Jason's version is really kind of nice and, and delicate, but I like bigger portions. Yeah, it's gorgeous. has to be proper food. On the top there. How do you cook your beetroots? Do you roast them in the oven or do you boil them? No, I actually, I actually boiled this because it's then going to sit in the marinated. Okay. Uh, I just find that's an easier way. And the fresh way. beetroot is so much better than the vacuum packed. Yeah, absolutely. I quite like boiling. It's a big trend to roast them. And I quite like boiling. Yeah, you know? absolutely. It's really straightforward. A few bay leaves, a bit of salt. Yeah, it's delicious. absolutely. That looks beautiful. Well, I'm just going to simply Ooh. drizzle. <laughs> they look fab. They do. They really do. And some of that oil Just vinegar. A little bit of that on the outside. Hey, that's a showstopper. It is so vibrant with that pink, isn't it? Beautiful, girl. Oh, Beautiful. There we go. Right. Bravo. Lovely. Okay. Move okay, over. Go Your turn. <laughs> Mine's so much. Okay. It's so much more Toda, rustic than yours now. Well, um, I'm making a hummus, but I'm making the hummus with beetroot because it's beetroot is fantastic at this time of year in mid-June. Um, so two cooked beetroots, olive oil, chickpeas, garlic and lemon. Okay. Um, I've cooked these in water and then I'm going to peel them. Just need a knife. Right. And how you know your beetroot is cooked is that you can just push, push back the skin just like that. Sure. Um, so you just quickly take off the skin. And it's so much better than the vacuum packed one, you know, like... The, the flavour and the juices are... And they're also too soft, though, can't compare, though, can you? I think. They're they're rich? Always, they always uh, seem overcooked to me, those vacuum They do, they, they just taste this. And then I'm just going to chop it up fast, like that. And if you take the lid off my whiz-bang... <laughs> like is that the technical name? Um, of course. I don't know, is it? Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, in the whiz-bang. In, then the chickpeas in. Okay, cooked chickpeas. Chick yeah, cooked you, chickpeas you or tinned? canned. Yeah, tinned, mm. you use tinned. Yeah, absolutely. Olive oil. Okay. Delicious. Good amount of oil. Lid on, and then we see if it needs lemon. Good man. And then the juice of one lemon, maybe, as well. Because the colour is fantastic, it's isn't so it? so cool. And the juice of one lemon in, just while it's whizzing away. And then a little bit more olive oil. Do you want a smooth kind of paste? Yeah, I want or? a smooth paste in it, yeah. And that's about ready. Off. The colour is cool. Um, and then I've got lovely seasonal vegetables that are fantastic mid-June as well. So the, this lovely baby carrot and the fennel bulb and then some lovely pitted toasted bread it as well. This would be brilliant for a summer dinner party. Yeah, wouldn't it? yeah the colour is so summery. Right, let's try. I'm going to try yours first time. It's almost too delicate for me. I love the me. way that it just sort of sinks into the goat's cheese as well. Yeah. You can imagine all the flavours from the beetroot. Oh. Lovely, lovely. Like that, you've got a last bit of vinegar. When we're going on now. My hands are all I'm going to have to dig in here as right. well. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Well done, girls.